Hi, we are going to be learning today uh, how to make this sweet daisy that is also a granny square. So let's get started. We'll need the hook, our needle, and some scissors. So we'll start with our center yarn. You can use any color that you would like. We're just doing the regular um, colors. So we'll do a magic ring, which I'll make a video separate how to do it. Separate your tail so that doesn't get tangled. And chain two, one, two, and then you are going to make 11 double crochets into the center. Making sure to go over the, into the ring and over the tail. So we're going to be covering our tail as we go along. So that's one. We're going to count the chain basically in this pattern as a double crochet. So one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, I'm going from the outside of the ball. It's illegal. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. If we counted our double crochet, we'll just check. Our chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve including our uh, chain to start so cut your yarn got one of my hairs in it pull the tail nice and snug and put it over the front and you will slip stitch to the top of this chain to join. There we go. And chain one and pull out your thread. That keeps it stuck. And we'll just make sure we have 12 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. So now we will be changing colors. Alright, so we're going to be joining our white yarn for our petals. You can use any color you like, but we're going for the original classic daisy look. So loop your yarn through and just do one chain one with both and then put your tail over. With your other tails, we're going to be working over our tails so we don't have to stitch them in later. To start, you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then what we're going to be doing two more treble crochets into the same stitch because your chain counts as a treble crochet. To do a treble crochet, you wrap your yarn twice. Put it through, bring it back, wrap your yarn, take off two, wrap your yarn, take off two, wrap your yarn, take off two. We'll do that again. Wrap your yarn twice, put it through, grab the yarn, bring it back, wrap the yarn, take off two, wrap the yarn, take off two, wrap your yarn, take off two. Pull up your hook to make a bit of a bigger loop here. Go and find the top of this chain. The other ones will be a bit easier than this to find. I just poke it into the same kind of height as the rest of my stitches. So I'm picking the third one, but sometimes it's the fourth. It depends on your tension. And then bring your hook, your loop through that stitch so you have all the yarn on there and then chain two. One, two. And wrap your yarn twice and make three double crochets into each of the stitches going around. So this is one triple crochet. This is another triple crochet. And this will be the last triple crochet all into this one stitch. Pull up the yarn, go into the top of the first treble grab the yarn, make it smaller, bring the yarn through the first treble crochet, and chain two. One, two. So we're going to keep doing that in each stitch around, so we're just doing it one more time. We'll make three trebles into this stitch, like so. And when we 
finish it, make our loop bigger, go into the top of the first treble crochet that you made into this stitch, grab your yarn, your hook on your hook, bring it through. Right? Chain two. One, two. Okay. Wrap your yarn, put it through. So we're doing three more trebles into the next stitch. So you'll kind of see the only tricky part is taking out the hook for at the end of this petal, like taking it out there, putting it in here, putting your loop back on, and bringing it through the first treble crochet that you made on that petal, or in that stitch, chaining two. Okay, so continue working your way around and I'll meet you over here. Okay, so now I've worked my way around. I've chained two at the top. My ends, I pulled them around as much as I could. When they kind of started getting in the way, I just let them go. And now we can just snip them off. We can even do that now. Carefully snip them off. Okay, so those are gone. Now we are going to crochet into the top stitch. No, not the chain. We're going to go into this top stitch. The first one is a bit different because it's the chain. You know, it's not a treble crochet. But we're just going to slip stitch into there. So that is joined. And I'm going to snip my yarn. And bring it through again just to make sure it's tight and slip it down. If it was something fancy, you'd do a different kind of, you could not just pull the yarn through the one slip knot, but it's kind of nice to make sure that it is, and something that's already chunky, that it's secure. So that's our center daisy finished. So we'll take our next yarn. I'm going to use this nice, uh, I don't know what color it is, Robin's Egg Blue, I suppose. And I'm going to start in the space, any space really, but I'm going to go the space after I made my not just so I can work these ends in as much as I can. So I'm going to take a bit of a tail, put it on my hook, bring it under, and then bring both through for a slip stitch. Like that. Now I'll drop my tails to the side and I'm going to chain, depends, two or three, but I'll chain three. Most people chain three. It depends on the height and the tension you use for your double crochets. Sometimes your chain is too big. If it's too big and then starts looping over to where your stitches are, then take a stitch out. But generally, most people are a three. So I'm going to do a one shell in here, which is two more double crochets. So double crochet is wrap your yarn, put it through, wrap, uh, bring your yarn back, wrap your yarn, take off two, wrap your yarn, take off two. Um, so see it's a bit, sometimes I just do two for my double crochets, but that's fine. And then a chain one to get to our next space. And we're just going to be working into this blue thread I'm going to leave out now. And this, we're going to be working into the spaces in between the petals. So just in there. So wrap your yarn and put it through bring it back. You're going to do three double crochets into this space. Three double crochets count as a shell when making a standard granny square. And then a chain one after you finish your three. Into the next space we're going to be doing the same thing again. Three double crochets. So one, two, three. And if I'm going too fast or anything like that, you can rewind the video or just stop the video until you catch up and then press play again. So I did three double crochets and a chain one. Now in the next space, I'm going to be doing a corner. One cluster, a chain three, and another cluster. So wrap your yarn. We're going to be doing a one, I mean shell, not cluster. So three double crochets, a chain three, one, two, three. Push your stitches back and three more double crochets. One, two, three. So that makes a little corner. 
See how it's made a corner. So now we're going to make one, like one shell in the next two spaces, in each of the next two spaces. So three double crochets. A chain one. In the next space, the same thing, three double crochets. You can probably hear my kids singing in the background. They're watching the wiggles. Um, so that's two by themselves. Chain one. And then this will be another corner in our next space. So we're going to be doing a shell, chain three, and a shell. So three double crochets is one shell. So there's our three double crochets. A chain three. One, two, three. Push our stitches back and three more double crochets into the same space. One, two, three, and a chain one. So now you can see it's a bit rounded still because obviously it's pretty close into the circle, but when we pull it, it's really a square. So that was pretty easy and no math, yay! So one shell in each of the next two spaces with a chain one in between, so three triple crochet, a chain one, into the next space, another shell, three triple crochet, and a chain one, and we're ready for a corner. So if you see how it is, here's a corner and here's a corner, and there's two shells in the middle. So you do two shells, we do a corner and then a shell and then a shell and then another corner. That just works out easy. Easy peasy. So now we're doing another corner. So three double crochets, chain three, three and three double crochets all into the same space. Chain one. So now we have, a, we're going to put a shell here and a shell here and then we're going to finish our corner here and join our yarn. And I'll show you two different ways to join. Let's get there I suppose. So I'll just finish this up quickly. Three double crochets chain one, three double crochets, Oop. chain one, now we're going to do the last bit of this corner, so three double crochets, And now there's two options for, for joining our round. The first one is if you're going to be changing your colors, you would just do your regular chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch it to the top of your chain. See, it's, it's the third chain, one, two, three, but I also go by the top. So this is the first stitch of the corner, so I'm going to go in there, slip stitch it. Oh, wow, I'm just dropping things. Slip stitch it to join, like that, and cut your yarn and pull your hook out. Um, so that's the one way if you're changing colors. If you're not changing colors, like if you want to have one more row, of the same color, you chain one and you wrap your yarn, you're going to do a half double crochet. So we go into the same stitch, the top of the first chain, wrap your yarn, bring it back, now you have three loops on your hook, you wrap your yarn, take off all three, and we do it that way so that our ending is in the center of our of our corner. So we can keep going around and our join is always going to be hidden by all these stitches from underneath. Because we're going to have all those stitches on top of where we joined so nobody's going to see where we joined. We're not going to have a weird space anywhere 
it's not going to be staggering off in the center of your work. So that is the best way to join if you're um, not changing colors. So for this example, we will not change colors because I'll show you how it works. Um, so now you chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to be doing half of our corner here. So we're going to be going around. So our chain counts as a double crochet. So we're going to be doing two more double crochets into the same corner space as so. So that's our corner. So when we come around, we will join to there. And to get to my next space, I chain one. So I chain one. And we're making double crochets. So three double crochets, one shell, into each space, each of our chain one spaces of the previous round. So that's the easy part. You don't have to go into stitches. Best part about granny squares. So three double crochets, a chain one, three double crochets, A chain one, three double crochets, a chain one, and into the corner space, three double crochets, a chain three, and three double crochets. So one, two, three. So that's our half corner. Put, pull your stitches back. So they're in the same row as they should be. Three more double crochets into the same stitch, I mean into the same corner space. And chain one. Next space. Three double crochets. Chain one. Three double crochets. Chain one. Three double crochets into the next space. Oops. Chain one. Okay. So you can see now that's a lot more square without blocking or anything you can see it's really starting to basically be a square you don't even really have to um, pull it anywhere so that's going to be great so we've chained one we can tell we've chained one because we see one loop on this hook if we have it hadn't chained one I'll show you what that one looks like there's two loops on my hook you see the two so if you chain and look there's only the one so that's how you can always tell if you've done your chain or you haven't done your chain yet. So now we're going to our corner space. We're doing a corner. Three double crochets. Chain three. Three double crochets. Okay, so, and a chain one to finish it. So now you pretty much get the idea of how to do it. Three triple, three double crochets into each of the spaces, a chain one in between. In the corners you do three double crochets, a chain three and three double crochets. Chain one to get to your next space. Three double crochets, three double crochets, three double crochets, with chain one in between. So I will meet you when you get back to the corner, when we get back to here. Okay, so now we're back. I've gone around. I'm at my coming up to my corner space. I've done my chain one. So wrap your yarn, make three double crochets into this corner. One, two, three. And now because I'm going to change colors, we will chain three to make our corner. One, two, three. And then into the top of this chain stitch, you put in your hook, bring your yarn back, slip stitch it to that knot, and I will do one more little chain to make sure. You cut your yarn, pull it through, and pull it down on that side. So there is your granny square. Now I'll show you how to change colors. So I have my new color, this nice minty green. 
So we're just going to start, I start usually at the corner before where I did my previous join just so I don't have too many yarns all getting woven in at the same time. But still, so I weave this in sooner than later. So I pick this corner over here and we do the same kind of join as we've done. Make a tail about however long you like, but this is comfortable for me. I loop it under and I do a slip stitch with both yarns. What is my dog just going crazy? There's somebody at the gate and no one's answering the gate. So chain three, one, two, three. Hold your tail on this side here and you're going to make two more double crochets into this corner. Now it's the same as all the other rounds we've done. So you get an idea, chain one. Now you have to sew this in separately, so just drop it. If you weave it in, like if you keep going over it, you'll have a loose string on the top of your work, which I don't think looks very nice. So now just drop it down and you can come back and sew it in with a needle um, later on. So th uh, did I chain one? Let me check. Yes, I did. Okay. So three double crochets, da da da, go all the way around. And I'll meet you back here. So I'm back around to my last corner where I started. So I'll finish this corner by making three double crochets. One, two, three. And because I'm not going to be using this color anymore, I'm finishing, I'm going to do a chain three. One, two, three. And going into that space. So by that space, I mean the third chain from the base or the t first stitch that's at the same height as the rest of them, basically. So one, two, three. It's this guy here. So I'm going to slip stitch that to join and do a little chain just to make sure it doesn't come out in if I don't use it up right away, like if I don't join it right away it'll buy me some time. I'm That's basically a knot so I'm sure that it's not going anywhere. So that's our cute little square. That is the Daisy Granny Square.